Well, it's Friday again, and today we are painting Arapahoe Bend Natural Area, one of over 43 natural areas, I might add, in our town here at Fort Collins. And it uh, looks like we're, we might, might <laughs> have some good weather today. River is running high. It's so lush and so green. It's wrong. <laughs> There's so many options here. If I don't come here prepared, I'll never get it done. I know, right? <laughs> It's going good. Is anybody else here? I don't know. I thought it was one of them since passing. Yeah, okay. So normally a lot of the artists come down this way, but I think they might have gone south of here because the river's so high. Look at this grass. It's like we're on a prairie or something. And these are the sad remains of Strauss Cabin. It was this really cool, one of the original historic buildings here in the area. And they restored it and made it wonderful. And then some vandals burnt it down. And over the years, it's uh, just gotten more and more of a ruin of rubble. <laughs> And I was thinking of painting the mountains in the distance because I love that view. But guess what? It's completely socked into the clouds. So we're going to try somewhere else. So going south and parallel to the river. Got more grass. Because the weather's a little more settled today, I think I'm going to work a little larger, which means I need to mix up a lot of paint to cover that 14 by 20 inch block. And this is what I get for letting my paints dry out too much. It's taking forever to mix these grays. And uh, different watercolorists have different approaches to how they use and control their, their water. And uh, right now I've settled on having two smaller containers. But one that I, you know, keep the murky stuff in and another one I use that's relatively clean for doing washes and stuff. I 
haven't gotten good enough yet at filming myself and doing the most critical first wash, <laughs> but I'm gonna try um, and see if there's something I can... Okay, so I'm gonna try something new. I'm gonna attach this tripod to the tree. Okay. Okay, so I've got my gray, moody sky down, and look, it's already starting to change. See the patches of blue poking through? But I'm going to stick with what my original vision was, and we're going to do all the greens in the water next. distant. Oh, the sun's coming out. You can see the shadow of my hat. Might have to get out my umbrella here in a minute. Okay, I'm going to try to film this and do it at the same time. It's a little tricky. I'm going to try to get those leaves here while this is still slightly damp and it's drying very quickly. So we got our pool of green already mixed up for our purpose and very, very carefully start putting that in. Let's see, where do you live? About right here. It's thicker. And what I'll do is I'll switch brushes to my Japanese bamboo brush, which does a better job at this. Crazy Colorado moisture. Okay, and then I'm make a slightly darker mix here using my perylene green and my other mix that I already mixed so I can get some more punch to it. See how it just automatically goes down the areas already wetted. Okay, and then I see that other tree. Him. Actually, I think I'm going to do this one instead executive decision. It's 
So yeah, this brush is really awesome for making little leaf suggestions without saying too much. Really make it dark. And of course the camera is going to make it look even darker than it is. Sure enough, just as I said, the sun just kind of blared out from behind the clouds there, and we have a totally different scene in front of us. So that's why I pack an umbrella even on a cloudy day. Because uh, all that bright light really throws my values off. Okay, let's get to finishing this up. Time for some negative painting. Give these little lighter green bushes some definition. And the water looked the water looked so choppy I put over another glaze to smooth it out a little. And uh, now I'm going to go in here while this is still drying. It's very wet. And I'm going to put in some reeds and bank stuff. Okay, now getting down to the nitty gritty here, the last 20 minutes of the painting. Gotta do some branchy branches. Branch, branch, branch. Okay. And I've just been going through here and adding. I used to do the branches first, then the greenery. Now I've learned to do the greenery first. I think it usually suits it better. And I'm trying to get maybe this guy here. I like him. So let's see, just very carefully, you know, you know some people just do a streak, streak, and they're done. But I, I like giving my trees a little bit of character. I like studying how they're little branches do their thing. It's very light. Really touching that paper. Okay, so I'm gonna have to hurry and finish this up real quick. I'm gonna put in uh, the reeds here. Let's see. So I've got my green here. The secret to this is drying out this brush a little bit and then just going straight up. I'm going to go to the studio and just touch up a little bit more, but I'm going to call this good for now. And this is why I was getting eaten alive by mosquitoes, was because right behind me, there was this puddly area. <sighs> when will I learn? 